Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Speed Farm 101 here on Borderlands 2. My series where I take you through every single boss in the game and give you any shared tips or knowledge of uh, how to make your farms faster so you can get the legendary or unique gear, uh, weapons, that kind of thing from that boss. So today we are here in Three Horns Divide for part 5 and I'm going to be showing you a couple of tips on how to speed farm savagely faster than you would uh, anyway from spawning into three horns and uh, having to drive all the way down here etc so uh, yeah got a good little skip for you mainly about map positioning uh, but also a little skip on the actual map itself so uh, yeah without further ado let's get on the guide so as always I'll just show you uh, exactly where and what we're going to be doing today a little explanation of the uh, skip itself uh, and how to actually get it activated. So when you spawn three on survive, you will be here at the fast travel. Now, if we bring up the mini map, you will see the distance it actually takes. Savagely is somewhere over in that direction over there. Uh, so yeah, bring up the map, and you'll see we are right here. And Savagely is directly below us, right down in this area over here. So pretty much the other side of the map, really. Uh, it doesn't look too far, but it, it can be really when you're doing this over and over again. This is the route you have to take. You have to get a runner or a vehicle um, and drive all the way down here to this spot here and then run to the uh, Savage Leaf uh, through a little uh, blocker, uh, past a load of bully monks, that kind of thing. Bit annoying. What we're going to do though is position ourselves like we've done in previous episodes here uh, at the uh, walkway to Frostburg Canyon and then simply just run across, jump across a little gap, uh, run halfway up a cliff and jump down. So you can see the distance uh, actually saved right there just by doing that. So uh, what you want to do is come out and head to Frostburn Canyon. It is worth noticing when you do spawn in at this point though there is a bonus chance of getting a Savage Lee drop or spawn uh, and you can see right here if your mini map immediately lights up with red dots uh, and you can hear shouting commotion about Savage Lee does actually sometimes spawn behind you as well. He will always spawn in the spot where he's supposed to but very randomly you get uh, certain encounters where he will appear behind you so uh, you can, it's either directly next to you or just behind you on the map. I've shown you exactly both events. So uh, this is the uh, kind of to the side of you spawn. So again, you can kill him and he will drop the uh, the Unkempt Harold, which is what we are actually uh, after. Uh, and also he can very uh, often as well spawn directly behind you. So you'll see in a minute the dots light up right there. I didn't notice him straight away. Just about to get a vehicle and I thought, hang on a minute, I can hear something. So then, then again, I checked and, uh, yep, sure enough, he's right back here fighting with the bully monks. Uh, just be aware that if we do the speed farm, which I'm going to show you, obviously you won't spawn in at this point, so you will miss those extra drops. But uh, it's up to you whether you want to weigh extra appearances by Savage Lee up with, um, you know, the other side of things, which is just pure quick farming. So it's up to you guys. So very quickly as always I'm going to show you a normal run sped up so this is the direction you have to take you can judge the distance here although it's sped up it does take a lot longer than what we're going to actually be doing but I like to show you guys a normal run anyway just so you can see exactly how far you've got to go and what you've got to do so there you go that is it right there Savage Lee is dead no Harold. Now for the actual speed farming of this then which makes things much quicker so you spawn into the fast travel uh, you don't want to be there, you want to be in Frostburn Canyon, so make sure you travel over there. Then we're going to immediately turn to the right and head through the walkway, uh, which means that when we quit out and come back in, no matter what, until we hit another fast travel, we will always appear at that point right there. So you can quit out, come back in and appear here. Uh, and like I said, this is much quicker and you'll see in a minute. This can be done with all characters. I'll show you it with normal characters, non-rocket jumping gun zerk characters, and then I'll show you it with Salvador. But basically, that is the cliff we want to be heading for over there. Just to the other side of that cliff is Savage Lee. So run up this ramp, turn to the left, and then just uh, jump over this barrier. You can rocket jump over it. I'm pretty sure you can normal jump over it. But to guarantee you get over it quicker, just take your batter boom with you and fire it. Then just make sure you jump over this uh, canyon, cliff thing, whatever you want to uh, call it right here. And uh, don't fall down. Head to the other side of it, run up this cliff. About halfway, you can run right to the top of it if you very want. But uh, probably about the point I'm at now, you can jump down if you really like. 
uh, or you can just sit up here and snipe him, whatever you want to do. But uh, I'll show you it right from the top. Uh, there he is, just down there. So you can chuck grenades down at him, you can rocket launch down at him, you can do whatever you like. Uh, I'm just going to go down and kill him with my double North Fleets right here. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is him dead. No Harold drop, of course. Uh, but you can just simply quit out, come back in, and do it all again. That's how quick it is. And uh, you know, I was a bit slow on the uh, the first run there from an explanation, just to show you guys. But I assure you, it's a very quick farm. Now for the rocket jumping Gunzerker side. Uh, again, just the exact same route, just much quicker. You've got two batter booms. You've got movement speed increase, that kind of thing. Uh, something like a, a fleet Maya build would be awesome for this as well. So uh, make sure you invest into that if you've got Maya. Uh, I like to rocket jump just off the side of the cliff right there. It puts you right next to him. And there you go. Down he goes. Completely dead. Just like that. So it's very, very quick as you can see. And uh, it just speeds things up no end. So that means there's only one thing left to do. And that is get ourselves a drop. So I'm going to run that once again with the rocket jumping Gunzerker. As I've been doing for, uh, I think it was about 15 runs this took me to get it to drop. You can just simply just do the same thing that I've shown you. Go up, go and kill him, and down it goes. And uh, yeah, you can speed farm him as much as you want for his legendary drop. I use this route all the time. It's also very good, as you'll see in the next episode, for spe speed farming ball for the fastball as well. That'll be the next episode. But uh, yeah, there you go. There is the Harold drop. I've got it. Very good. Uh, and again, this route could be used for not only farming the Harold, but also for speed farming uh, the double penetrating unkempt harold which is obviously the best prefix of this so uh, if you really want a, a double penetrating one but you haven't got one yet then uh, you can either go to the torque vendors obviously which uh, obviously mean you need to pay for them but you can just keep sp spawning them out till you get them or you can just farm this guy over and over again until he drops the one that you want so uh, yeah there you go the overview of the legendary that we've been aiming for today that is the unkempt harold right there that was Speed Farming 101, Part 5, Savagely. Nice, easy positioning tip and a little bit of a skip as well, uh, just to uh, make things faster. So hopefully this guy uh, helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.